good people. Welcome to Raw Vegan Rising. My name is Shane Sterling. How are you guys doing today? I'm in my bathroom because I'm gonna talk about my dental routine for nighttime before I go to bed. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and I'm so happy you guys are here. You know, I do not come from strong dental genes. My teeth are pretty weak. I've kind of struggled with my teeth my whole life. My mom has weak teeth. My dad lost his teeth completely when he was 40 to gum disease. He got dentures at the age of 40 uh, because of gum disease. He smoked tobacco his whole life and it cost him his teeth. And you know what? I smoked tobacco too from the age of 16 to like 40 or so. I don't remember, but it was like 24 years that I smoked tobacco. And all through my teens and 20s, I gr I would grind my teeth at night because of stress and anxiety. So I've done a number on my teeth. I have worn spots. I have crowns. I have, um, you know, lots of fillings in my teeth. And so since I've gone raw vegan, have my teeth gotten worse? No, my teeth are doing really good, actually. My gums are really healthy. And it's partly due to what I do to take care of my teeth. And I'm going to show you guys this. But I want you to know that when I did go 100% raw vegan, almost instantaneously, within a couple months, my teeth became excruciatingly sensitive. So sensitive that I would go outside and the wind, the breeze on my teeth would cause pain. Now, my thought on this was that it was detox because it came on really quick. This wasn't something that gradually increased. I had no sensitivity before going raw. And then within 60 days, I had extreme sensitivity. I thought that it was possibly detox happening from smoking tobacco for 24 years. I also developed stains on my teeth, like in between my teeth, especially I had stains that came and went. So I kind of got into the habit of oil pulling because I was researching natural dental care. And so for these stains in my teeth, I was doing oil pulling. Um, and it worked, you know, over the course of time, the stains went away. And I'd say within a year, within a year and a half, my sensitivity was completely gone. And now for me, 100% raw vegan, over three years, I have no sensitivity at all. And with the uh, routine that I do for my teeth, I have really good, healthy pink gums. I've had no um, advancement of dental problems or wear on my teeth. I'm doing pretty good, I'm really happy about it. So I thought I would share with you guys. So let me just start by saying oil pulling is something that I like and I do. So at least a couple times a week, I mean, I wish I could do it every night, like five nights a week, but I don't always. So I use coconut oil. You know, I have this one here, a, a organic virgin coconut oil. Always good to have this around. But I also use an Ayurvedic sesame oil. So I bought this whole gallon here. I have this in my Amazon store. And a lot of these products that I'm going to show you, I have in my Amazon store as just a reference. So people who care can go to my Amazon store and see what I have. You don't have to remember this or write it down. You can just click on the link and it's in there. Okay, the description in the description is that link. All right, so this is the Banyan Organic Sesame Oil. And this is traditionally what's used for oil pulling in Ayurveda. I use both. Now this is, it says a dollar an ounce. I paid a dollar an ounce and this is a 128 ounce jar. So this was 128 bucks for a gallon of organic uh, Ayurvedic sesame oil. And you know, the coconut oil is cheap too. So it doesn't have to be expensive. I just stocked up on a whole gallon. You can see the Banyan sesame oil in my Amazon store. So a couple nights a week, at least I will oil pull. I really enjoy it. I do, you know, 15 minutes, do some oil pulling. It pulls the toxins, it pulls bacteria, it pulls stains off your teeth. It's very effective, it's very gentle, it's great for gum health, it can really help with receding gums, it can help with sensitivity, it's natural, it's easy, you just swish with oil for 15 to 20 minutes, you can go longer if you want to, you can go shorter if you want to, um, and it's great, so do that. And then what I do after my oil pulling, immediately I will floss. And I use the best floss in the world. I'm telling you, best floss in the world. It's called the Dr. Tung's Smart Floss. 
it, I'm telling you, this stuff is really thick, okay? It's fibrous, so you can put essential oils or toothpaste or baking soda on here and it holds it. And then you can really get up into the gums and it does not break. I will tell you, I have a, I have a spot that's kind of tight and I break all the floss that I use. Every single time if I use normal floss, it breaks. If I buy stuff from Whole Foods or try any other kind of product, it breaks except this one. It's strong, it is flexible, it just works. So personally, I stock up on these. I buy like 10 at a time, of course. I've got a family and we all use it, but it's just the best. So when I floss after the oil pulling, what I'm thinking of is, okay, the oil pulling's just pulled toxins out. It's got bacteria coming out. Let's continue to get that out. So I'm thinking about getting in between the teeth to help after the oil pulling, you know, to really clean in between the teeth. I try not to rush it. I try to take my time going in between each gum, getting the surface of each tooth. And I really take my time with flossing. I would say that flossing is probably the most important part of the entire dental routine, okay? I take my time with flossing. What I do after that is I brush with baking soda, okay? I brush with baking soda, cheap. This was a dollar at the Whole Foods Market, okay, for a whole thing. This will last months and months and months and months. Also, just so you know, I use this toothbrush. This toothbrush is from Boca. I'm gonna show you the Boca toothpaste in a second, which I use sometimes. But this, you can only get this on their website. It is the best, softest bristle toothbrush I've ever, ever used. And it's a recycled plastic material, biodegradable. I just, I'm telling you, this these bristles are so soft. So I wet it under the sink and I dip it in here and I get a lot of baking soda on the end. Okay, a lot of baking soda. And then when I brush, the bristles are so soft, it doesn't irritate my gums because hard toothbrushes can actually contribute to receding gums, contributing to sensitivity. But this toothbrush is so soft that when you put it on your gums, you can get abrasion at the gum line to work the plaque off without damaging your gums. And so this level of softness, this is very, very soft. And I'm gonna tell you, you cannot get this level of softness in a store. I've never found it. It is the perfect softness. You can only buy this toothbrush on their website. I don't make any commissions or anything off this toothbrush. I'm just telling you guys, this is what I use. And I absolutely freaking love this toothbrush. And it allows me to really make the best use of the baking soda because it allows all that abrasion without hurting my gums. So I oil pull, I floss, I do the baking soda. Okay, my good brush for two minutes to make sure you get all that plaque off. And then I rinse with hydrogen peroxide. This is just the hydrogen peroxide that I picked up at the Whole Foods Market. You can use any hydrogen peroxide. It's super cheap. It lasts months. You don't need very much. It foams up in your mouth. It helps whiten your teeth. It is an antiseptic, antibacterial, completely kills off all the bacteria that you've now pulled out from the oil pulling and the flossing and a rinse with hydrogen peroxide daily is just great for your teeth health overall. And you know, you see those toothpastes in the market that say, you know, hydrogen peroxide and baking soda in the toothpaste. Well, just use baking soda and hydrogen peroxide. It's so cheap, so easy, so good. And I do this every day after my baking soda brush. Okay, after I do my hydrogen peroxide, I will use this, Boca toothpaste. Now the Boca toothpaste, this is kind of an interesting thing. This toothbrush comes from Boca. You can only buy it on their website, bocatoothpaste.com. Um, I will leave a link in the description, okay? So this Boca toothpaste has NHA, which is a remineralizing substance that is non-toxic. It's kind of like fluoride. It has anti-cavity properties and is also remineralizing to the teeth and also anti-sensitivity. So it says here, gently remineralizes anti-plaque, which is anti-cavity and anti-sensitivity. And it's NHA. You can look up NHA online and read about it. It's kind of like a technology. It's a microparticle that bonds with the enamel of your teeth. 
Now, this isn't completely 100% natural. There are some products in here that are less than ideal. It's not a toxic mainstream toothpaste. It's a conscious toothpaste. They're, they're trying to do a good job for people on this toothpaste. But depending on your sensitivity to ingredients, you might or might not want to use the, the Boca. And then what I recommend is maybe one of the most magical products in the world, which is the Neem Enamelizer Toothpaste. Can you guys see that? This is by Living Libations, okay? The Neem Enamelizer Toothpaste has no artificial ingredients at all. It's just like um, essential oils, sodium bicarbonate, um, and some other ingredients, completely natural. Uh, you can get this um, as an alternative for somebody who's really sensitive to ingredients. Same thing, gently remineralizes anti-cavity and anti-sensitivity because as, as it remineralizes and it heals the gums, it's gonna reduce sensitivity. So the Neem Enamelizer Toothpaste, this is like a little um, paste and it comes with a little scoop and you just kind of put it on your toothbrush and you scoop it out, put it on there. You can dip this in there even if you want. It is amazing and I highly recommend that. So what I do after my hydrogen peroxide rinse is I take these remineralizing products and I just rub them on or gently brush them on for them to stay. I don't rinse. I just put them on my teeth and I spit, but I do not rinse, okay? And then after that, I will put on an essential oil on my teeth before I go to bed, okay? And these essential oils really make a difference. My absolute favorite is the Yogi Tooth Serum. Can you guys see this one? Yogi Tooth Serum. This is in my Amazon store as well, made by Living Libations, same company as the Neem Enamelizer Toothpaste. I absolutely love this one. This is a, an essential oil blend that really keeps the plaque down. I will notice, and I'm not kidding, when I use this, I can go days without brushing, if I, which I don't, but I have in the past, and the plaque doesn't build up. That fuzzy feeling on your teeth does not build up when I use this. There's just a blend of oils in here which keep those bacteria down. And so after I put on the remineralizing toothpaste, I put some drops of this on my gums and it really just is an antibacterial and also helps the pH of the mouth so that your body can naturally remineralize the teeth, which helps with cavities, gums, sensitivity, having nice, healthy, white teeth, right? Now this one is uh, Living Libations. I will also sometimes use the Thieves by Young Living or something equivalent. This is a clove, cinnamon, oil. This one you have to buy from Young Living specifically. I'm a huge fan of Young Living. I love their products. Uh, doTERRA is another good one. I don't know if doTERRA has an equivalent to the Thieves, but Thieves is just a, uh, a classic. It's called Thieves because during the bubonic plague in the, what, 1300s, they would use this blend of essential oils to keep themselves from getting sick. They would douse claws, you know, masks with it, and they would wear masks with the Thieves oil on it, and it would prevent the infections from spreading. So again, this is an antiseptic, it's an antibacterial, it's an antiviral, and when you use the Thieves, in your mouth, it burns like a mother, but it's so powerful. And so over time, I've gotten used to using it and it no longer hurts my mouth when I put it in. It's kind of like hot, kind of burns, but it feels good. And I will use both of these, um, you know, depending on the day. My favorite is this one. Uh, this one's a little more expensive than this one, but I'll use both and I'll switch. Okay. so. After that, after I put on the oils, then I will go to bed and I will feel like I really invested that cleanliness in my mouth and made the best choice for healing my gums, healing my teeth and having good, healthy uh, dental hygiene. I do invest the time, you know, like I was saying with the floss and everything because I'm raw vegan. I eat nothing but raw fruits and vegetables, nuts and seeds. I eat a lot of dates and bananas and sugars in the fruits and people say, oh, sugar's the problem. Sugar is what, you know, sticks to your teeth, but it's not, you know, bananas, fruits, vegetables, the carbohydrates in vegetables and fruits do not stick to your teeth. And it's the starches, it's the dried fruits, you know, it's things that are sticky 
that stick to your teeth. So potatoes are going to contribute more to tooth decay than dates will because dates are, are raw and not dried. Good quality dates just do not stick to your teeth. So these kind of things really make a difference. And being raw vegan is like the best choice we can make for ourselves because it allows our body to get connected, get high vibration, get feeling like the best uh, health and vibrancy that we can possibly feel. I, Whenever I have a bite of cooked food or I try having a little cooked food here and there after being raw three years, it takes me down. It feels like I put a golf, uh, a softball in my gut and it just takes days to move through. It doesn't feel good, it lowers my energy and I feel like I have this little bit of haze hanging over my head. So I stay raw. I'd rather eat nothing but fruit, mono meals, keep my energy high, keep myself connected and feeling like I'm on top of my game. And I do this day in and day out because I'm devoted to being the kind of person that has a positive message, that has a positive vibration. You know, there's the theory of, it's a, it's a theory of physics of sympathetic vibrations. You know, if, if two piano strings are next to each other and you pluck one, the one next to it will vibrate at the same pitch. So when I stay raw vegan, I'm vibrating at a certain frequency and then everyone around me will feel that frequency. So I'm affecting the sympathetic vibrations around me. I am committed to being the example. I'm committed to being someone who makes the change on a level of physics, on the level of energetics. Everything is frequency, everything is energy. So when we work on that level of energy, we are making the biggest difference we can for this planet and for our loved ones and for our own divine path unfolding before us, our spiritual evolution, our growth, you know, our awakening on this planet. So I encourage everybody to try a raw vegan t uh, diet and to take care of your teeth along the journey. You just got my routine, so now you know what I do. Now you know you're armed with the information so you can be a raw vegan, you know. I'm here to support you guys. And if you are ready to go raw, if you want support, if you want a community of raw vegans around you, join Raw Vegan Heroes, which is my group coaching membership. Raw Vegan Heroes is at about 200 members right now as of today, and it's growing fast. I mean, within a year, we could be at 600 members and then 1,000 members. I mean, it's really incredible. And the thing is, is that this is a loving community, supportive community, on fire community, contributors, lovers. I mean, the people in this group are amazing. I'm in awe every day of how amazing Raw Vegan Heroes is. It's there for juice fasting support, detox support, raw food support, transition support. I'm the main coach in the group. I do all the coaching and I do a live stream every week. Every single week we get a live stream in the group. That's above and beyond. I overgive because I love the group. I've got an assistant coach who is extremely talented and gives the best advice if I don't get to your question first. And there's also, like I said, 200 members in there to support you. If you have questions, 200 people to jump in and support you. It is the best support in the world. Raw Vegan Heroes might very well be the best raw vegan and detox support on planet Earth at this time. I'm not kidding. I know what's going on. And Raw Vegan Heroes is possibly the best support you can get. You should check out the price. You'll be mind blown at what the access is to get into the group, how cheap it really is. There's a link in the description below for Raw Vegan Heroes. So go check that out because we're all needed on this planet at this time. We're needed, okay? Your gifts are needed. Your energy is needed. Sympathetic vibrations. 500th monkey, man. If we're going to wake up this planet, we've all got to vibrate at the right frequency. And raw foods are how we do it. High vibrational foods, living foods, and taking care of our teeth so we feel good about who we are. We feel good and empowered in our journey, okay? I hope this video was helpful. This is for you. This is a service message. Much love to all of you. Blessings. Have a great day. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Uno, dos, tres.